Hey, welcome back to Milton Daily Homes. Chuck here. I think we got 14 listings, and so let's start off with 936 Bressard, uh, not Commandant Lessard from Police Academy, if you remember that reference. I love you. Uh, 319 is the price, and it's a 1,300 square foot. It's a three-story. There's no backyard. It's called a, called a village townhouse by Madame. It's the only one that has an eat-in kitchen. It overlooks the dining, and then you also have a uh, family room here, too. Uh, these models, now a little bit more upgraded, have sold up in the 335 to 345 range. They're holding back on offers on this one. There's two car park in the driveway, holding back on offers. And so the, the idea is they're going to try and get some competition going. If, uh, if all is right in the world, it should sell for far more than what they're listed for, but it probably means the buyer has to come in with a good pre-approval. Uh, we know in a competitive offer situation, any conditions you have are definitely limiting your offer. So it's not that old. I don't think the danger of removing a home inspection clause is great, but that's always the risk of the buyer. And uh, obviously coming in with no conditions, having firm financing and... Uh, and also not doing a home inspection is one of the strongest ways to uh, to definitely get your offer accepted, obviously at the right price. But it, that's called a cash offer and it has a lot of power in a multiple offer situation. So uh, Farmstead number 55 is the next one. It's at 399 uh, no, I'm not a big fan of this layout. You kind of walk through the middle of the house. So this is over to the right hand side. There's a little bit of an area to the left, which is what you see there. And then your kitchen doesn't have any flow with the rest of the house. It, it's sort of, there's a little eat-in, and then there's your half wall that overlooks the right-hand side of things. So I just, it doesn't have that open feeling that a lot of buyers are looking for. Uh, I just, I, I don't see the appeal with these. I think being under 400 is definitely the place to be. I've seen some of them sell for a lot of money, and I don't always agree with the price that I see them at compared to what else is out there. Now, some people get sucked in with the brand new and everything else. So Edwards is 4075, and it's a 1580 square foot townhouse, all brick, and uh, it's on a huge pie shape lot. It's 85 feet across the back, and inside you've got a bit of moldings here. You've got uh, some upgraded light fixtures, some new blinds. It's carpet, it's a little more basic, but, uh, but it has all the pieces here. Uh, that's an upgrade in the bathroom. There's normally a, a soaker tub and a small shower, and it feels very tight. So this is just one big stand-up shower, so there's a lot more room in there. Three bedrooms plus laundry upstairs, and you can see just the size of that property. They don't come out very often. Uh, people really do stay in homes like this for a long time. So great listing there. Quiet Street on Edwards. You're right by the splash pad. You're right by... Um, Right by Guardian Angels School too, so that's an elementary Catholic school. Uh, Clark Boulevard, same model, so 1580 square feet. They've done some nice bushes around the side here. And value's in a different place on this one. They've got a little bit more upgrading inside here with the hardwood floors on the main level. Uh, you can see the layout's very similar. So off the kitchen, there's a family room. Then there's also, now I say family room. That This room is designed and the plans to be a family room, but a lot of people use it as a dining room and have the front of the house as a living, as just a big living room. So anyway, so it looks nice. The finished basement probably adds about $10,000 to the value of this one. And it's a decent sized yard too. I mean, you're on the corner, so you get all that extra distance on the side here too. So overall, this one's a very, very strong deal. Uh, given what other ones have sold for, I mean, they're definitely competitively priced. That's a good deal in my eyes. Uh, different style of home than Edwards. The thing about Edwards is you could always finish the basement there. You could always put in hardwood floors, but you're never going to be able to replace that kind of lot. Scott is 1860 square feet, 439 is the price. It's a semi detached. Four bedrooms plus laundry upstairs. It's not a bad floor plan at all. Uh, a little more basic inside. So this is a bit high for, for a more basic version of this home. Usually we're talking about finished basement. We're talking about definitely some more upgrading in order to get up to that price. Hood Terrace, 454. It's about 1650 square feet. Hardwood floors and uh, stainless steel. It's it's got a, a good floor plan. Now the only thing is that I believe is the car wash right behind. I know that the gas station shuts it off at a certain point at night. It's there's no neighbors directly back there, but I wonder how that would affect your enjoyment. We had one of these a couple weeks ago that came out. 
And I don't know if that's a good thing or not to have the uh, the gas station and also have the uh, the car wash right behind. It'd be something an owner who lives there would definitely be able to provide some insight. I do like the fact you've got the dormers here. That's a nice little uh, visual uh, thing that just it's it breaks up the rooms a little bit. It gives you a chance to put a desk in there, or a chair, or anything else you want. Good price on this one. Now, this is the same model, at least the same main floor, but when you do the four bedroom, they actually increase the square footage. So it's 1,800 square feet. Side-by-side -side parking, which is good. All brick is good. And uh, nice layout. These guys cut this wall like this, and it has a huge effect on how open this house feels. That was a great little upgrade. Even the arches just give something a little bit interesting, just like those dormer windows we talked about. Now, this one doesn't have the same front, so you're not going to see the dormer windows on the second floor. But overall, I do like this one. I think it is priced pretty well. Uh, Caverhill, $479. you are looking at uh, an 1835 square foot window model. Laundry's upstairs. And it's a big laundry room, too. And there's three pretty good sized rooms. They replaced the vanities. Uh, I don't know why they showed that. I guess maybe there's California shutters on those windows. It's hard to tell. And some landscaping. So overall, you know. It's okay. It's I, I, the homes in this price range. The single garages, four fifty to about five twenty. The prices are kind of all over the map. It makes it very hard to do the research because they really have kind of been scattershot for the last three or four months. Um, so you could justify that price, and you could also justify less based on what else is sold. Uh, Tonelli Lane, five nineteen eight eighty eight. It's a winter grove. It's twenty four hundred square feet, and uh, it looks like you've got. Granite counters in the kitchen, mostly carpet, um, nine foot ceilings though. It's actually a really good floor plan. It's one of the split level designs, very competitively priced. I mean, this stuff last year was selling for around this price. Uh, if it's half decent inside, that's a great deal. Bennett just dropped their price, I think from 529 to 519. They put out a new listing again. And I use the description of this one as it's almost like a dollhouse. You can even see like the plastic on the stairs. You know that it's been meticulously cared for. It just doesn't always appeal to that younger buyer. But I'll tell you, change the wall color. You do, you've got a chair rail here, so you could actually change this to a white and maybe a beige here. Bring out those crown moldings. You've already got upgraded light fixtures. You've got the hardwood floors, even the kitchen cabinets you could paint out. I know it sounds like a lot of work, but it's actually very simple. And it's sometimes just as easy as writing a check to a painter. And everything else is there. You've got uh, you've got a, a finished basement, potentially with a bar, it looks like, off in the corner there. Uh, it's about 2,000 square feet, not including the basement, so there's maybe another 700 down there. This is a very, very strong deal. This is a good price for this home. Sundial's the builder, and you have a deeper lot, too, which is great. Uh, Lori is 544.9, and I believe it's about 2,200 square feet. Uh, you've got a nice curved staircase there, nice upgrades in the kitchen, and you've got a family room upstairs plus, I believe, four other bedrooms, and you've got uh, even upgraded uh, closet organizers, which is, the, you look at certain things in a home, and you know that, that I talked about this yesterday, is there's a little bit more to the, the, the house. The owners just didn't do the bare minimum, and so I like to see things like closet organizers, because they really do uh, mean that there's been a little bit more care typically than the usual home that's been put into it. So, so 12, 650 first line is next one. It's at 939. And so we've got a two and a half car garage on this one here. It looks like a two bedroom plus one. So potentially one down in the basement. I like how open the kitchen is to sunlight and also to the rest of the house, which sometimes in the country can be a little bit harder. It's a nice ceiling effect here. Got a bit of a loft space upstairs, lots of counter. Um, you've got a pond there. It's like 30 something acres. Um, you've got a nice winding trail leading to the house and it's up by 25 side road. It's not too far away. First line is basically Bronte. So it's it, it probably in town in maybe 10 minutes, maybe a little bit more. 
but overall good. So for the size of the land and what looks like a pretty good house, 939 definitely seems like it's comparable with what else is sold. Uh, in the country, though, it's a different game. I mean, stuff in the city, if it goes on the market two, three weeks, it seems like it's a long period of time. But in the country, uh, much more likely to be in the sort of three to six month range to, uh, to get a sale, even if a home is priced pretty competitively. So anyways, that's, uh, that's the list for today. And if you have any questions, give us a call, gather the right information, make sure you're being uh, guided through the process safely, that you know what's coming up. And we got a buyer class coming up, I think in about a week and a half. So have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.